Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Big V Podcast for 2023. You are with Ted West, the League's Administrator, and to my left, I have Mark Jeffers, the Big V Manager. How you going, Mark? Yeah, not too bad. Excited for the season ahead, Ted. That's good. That's good. Now, for this short five-minute stint, we are going to talk all things championship men. Now, first order of business, three new teams. Here yeah, we go. really exciting, Ted. We've got... Um, we got Melbourne Uni moving up after a really successful season, Division yep. 1, in 2022. Um, they had a new roster put together, and um, it'll be interesting to see how they go making the jump to champ. We also have Keysborough, who have been long-standing um, finals team um, in Division 1, and then Bellarine, who are the reigning champs. Reigning the champs. Men. G1 men. I was at one of those games last year, and it was quite impressive to see. I reckon they'll, they'll be fine, really. They will be fine. I'm actually Probably. really excited as well, Ted, because they've, they've loaded it up. It looks like they're not going to come in and, and just be happy to be sort of sitting down at the, at the bottom first year in. They're looking to make finals, which is really exciting. They will, and I think Keysborough will be the exact same. Keysy have, have done a good job in their off-season recruiting quite well. They've, they've kept Jared Newby, they've re-signed him, and they've, they've found a cheeky little point guard from NBL1. They've signed AJ Williams, who was a, was a Casey last year. Yeah, he's going to be really exciting this league. I mean, this this league historically has been dominant, but uh, sorry, dominated by import guards. You know, you start reeling off the names: Sharif Black, Maurice Howard, Ish Sanders from last year, and I think AJ Williams is going to be um, pretty handy as a permanent resident for that that um, Keysborough team. Yeah, I like that. And you touched on him, and I'm going to elaborate. We had Ish Sanders, who averaged 25 points per game. So did Maurice Howard. We also had uh, Maurice Masana, who averaged 26 points per game. Not quite a point guard. Troyce Manassa there. Troyce Thank Manassa. you. We cannot get go. his name wrong. No, we cannot. Dominated the league last season. Absolutely. But we'll expect, we'd hope to expect, AJ Williams to hover around those numbers as well. But Keysborough did pick up one more, and it's very intriguing to see where he's like. Leonard Harper-Baker. Yeah, I'm... Going to be intrigued as to how he fits. It's always interesting with a new, different import coming to the league, how they fit with the team. Because that, that Keysborough team has been pretty much fairly similar the last couple of seasons. So um, adding a new piece and see what sort of impact he's going to make at that top end. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we also have the the champions. We have Wyndham winning in 2023. Yeah, they were really, really impressive. They They... Played a fast brand of basketball. They they got that ball shifting around, and they could definitely shoot the ball well. Had a number of shooters on that roster. Absolutely, and it looks like they're bringing back majority of their team as well. So we'll look to see them up there again, competing with Sunbury like they did consistently throughout the league. There might be some upsets. There might not be, but it'll be very interesting with that that similar team and with a probably a more experienced coach with yeah. Lucas Allen being with South East Melbourne Phoenix as an assistant for a year, you would probably expect that he would have a few more tricks up his up his sleeve. Yeah, I think um, a year at NBL level for Lucas can be awesome. He was already uh, a leading coach in, in the championship division and um, obviously impacts games um, every week. But the um, it's going to be interesting, the reduction. So they've, they've lost Keenan Gorski, who was probably their best sixth man last year, mm. statistically, come on. Um, sort of stretched out the defense with his three-point shooting. Um, but I kind of expect uh, young Oscar Jones or or Dolney to step up and fill, fill his shoes while he's gone. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be interesting to see. And, you know, you can never really tell what happens prior to round one. They obviously have all these practice games that they do, whether they play guys in champ, man, whether they play NBL one teams or whatever it is. It's always hard to tell. So come round one, it's going to be very interesting to see. We've got some pretty good matchups in there as well. We've got some rivalry games immediately. Some of these three new teams have got some probably pretty tough games yeah. immediately. Yeah. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how they go and how you know, what sort of impact they have on the league. Yeah, I'd expect uh, the live stream numbers to be up and about uh, come round one. People are gonna not going to want to miss these games, see how those new teams fit in to the competition, see if, you know, that Campbell who finished fifth last year where they can push up into that top four. Um, well, it's actually a top five this year. So 
that's another another different aspect completely. But uh, McKinnon have retooled and and Hume Hume City. I expect uh, I expect will once again be pushing for that finals with Troyes, with Troyes, Troyes Manassa. With Troyes Manassa. Uh, so she made the shift from Western Port across to Hume. So uh, that'll be interesting once those two teams play again. Fantastic. Well, thanks for that, Mark. We'll keep you all tuned in. That was Championship Men. Have a good week. We'll speak to you soon. Thanks, guys.